This is a seated total body chair workout. Yes, you can sit down and tone. And I'm going to show you how in this workout. I'm Judy Kroll, and this is Get Fit with Judy, where my goal is to motivate you to be fit and strong and proud of yourself and your body. So with that said, this is what you're going to need for this video to get the most out of it. First, a good chair. You want a nice, constructed, solid chair that does not have wheels on it because I don't want you accidentally rolling around. Preferably, if you have a straight back, that's also the best because you want to be able to sit straight, be comfortable, have a nice cushioned seat, and be able to do the moves knowing that the chair is a good support underneath you. You're also going to need a exercise ball. So if you have a good one that has some resistance, definitely have that ready. And also in my basket of tricks. If you don't have an exercise ball yet, you can take a beach towel or a bath towel and roll it up, put a couple of rubber bands at either end so that can act as your resistance in lieu of a ball. You're also going to need a couple of washcloths, some face cloths. Take each one and fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So you end up with two perfect squares and that'll be easier to do when we get to that portion of the workout. So you'll just need two of those. You'll also need your hand weights. I'm going to be using two pound hand weights today. If you prefer one pound or two pound or three pound, whatever you have that's comfortable for you to get a good workout and get some resistance, get those handy. Also, if you don't have the hand weights yet, you can also run to the pantry and grab a, a couple cans of soup. Just make sure they're the same size, <laughs> okay, so that you're even. These are roughly uh, three quarters of a pound. So that'll still work for you in a pinch. And I'll put all of these things that I'm using in the notes below the video so that you can find out some good places to get them when, uh, when you're ready to commit. <laughs> I like to do a little warm up ahead of time as I do with all of my videos here on the Judy Kroll Style channel. Be sure to subscribe and uh, that way you'll always be notified when a new video comes out because I really try to switch them all up. So let's get the music started. We'll start with some nice easy moves. Inhale and exhale to get that oxygen flowing and also get oxygen into the body because that speeds up the metabolism. You will find that when you inhale big breaths and exhale, you're also burning more calories. So let's do one of those. Inhale and exhale. Good. And inhale and exhale. Now this time come up and just Bend right over to your right side. And up and over to your left side, just at the waist. Good. And up and exhale. Come up again. Let's go to that left side. And right side. Good. And up and down. Now turn your head over to the left. And over to the right. And back to the left. Good and to the right. Your chest is facing me, your body is upright, and your body is facing forward. Now, I want you to take your left ear and go to your left shoulder, pull down with your right hand. Feel that nice stretch right through the neck and that side of the body. And now let's take the right ear to the right shoulder and pull down with that left hand. Good. Same thing again on the other side, and pull down. And now over to your right, and pull down with that left hand. Good. Now take those hands and act like you're going to hug a tree. Bring them forward and round your back. That feels so good. And now push away as if you're swimming. Good. And hug that tree again and hug. Good. And exhale. Good. Now take your hands out and just isolate. And let's go over to the left side. Just left. Left. And left. Good. And right. Good. Just a little small movement. And now let's alternate side to side to side to side. Raise it up and lift up to the ceiling and lift and lift. Try to grab a star and lift and lift and lift and lift and up and down. Good. Take those hands and intertwine them. Reverse them. Pull forward. Oh, very good. And bring them up and back and up. Grab that ball. We'll start with the legs and this is going to work the inner thighs and the quads, the hamstrings and the glutes, especially if you concentrate 
on tightening those glutes as you're doing the workout. Zip up those abs, tighten those glutes, and get the ball. All right, put that in between your thighs, all right? And do this with your feet. Be, you're up on your toes, be up on your toes. Okay, ready? We're just gonna squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. Zip up those abs, zip up, and tighten. Zip up, and tighten. Squeeze, squeeze, good, squeeze, good. Zip up and tighten. Squeeze, every time you squeeze that ball, tighten those glutes, squeeze and squeeze. All right, we're gonna pick up the pace, ready? Good, squeeze, 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 good. Keep going, yes, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, ready and relax. Now, lift up the left leg, just the left leg. You're actually pretending like a string is pulling on your knee. So, you, everything else is stationary. Just that one leg, lift that left leg, and you're working that whole wonderful quad muscle, and you're definitely gonna feel it also in the hip joint. Lift, and lift, other side to the right, and right. The string is now pulling just on that knee, and you're working that wonderful quad. That, those great big muscles tighten, strengthen, tone. That's what it's all about. Alternate, left, and right, and left, and right, good, left, and right, and left, and right, good, left, and right, and left, and right. Okay, take the ball, set it to the side, and grab your face claws, and you're gonna put those under your heels, okay? One under each heel. Now, we're going to sit towards the edge of your seat so that you've got room to maneuver, and we're gonna start with the left leg, and just take that heel out and back and out and back. It's like doing a hamstring curl and pull out and pull back, out and pull back. One more out, let's do two more actually. And out, now let's switch sides. Let's go right and in. Push it out and in. Hold that stomach in, good. And tighten those glutes, good. And out and in. And out, and in, out, and in. One more, out, now we're alternating. Ready? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Good. And hold it, okay, bring it in. Now, I want you to put your toes on the washcloths. I'm gonna spin mine so it's a little bit easier, okay. And we're gonna do the same thing, but with your toes this time. I'll start to the left, and in, and left. Hold your abs in, and left, and in, good. And left, and in, let's go to the right. Right foot, and in, and out, and in. Abs are tight, glutes are tight, good. You're using those quad muscles, and you're using the hamstrings. Out, and in, and out. Ready to alternate? Okay, here we go. Left, right, left, right left, right, left, right, keep going. Cleaning the floors at the same time. I hope you're on a nice smooth surface. Great job. Okay, with that done, I want you to remove the washcloth from underneath your feet, and I want you to hug that tree again, okay? And hug that tree. Oh yes, feels so good on the back. And push away, swim forward. Inhale, and exhale. And swim. Good. And inhale. Or exhale. Okay. And get your hand weights or your soup cans. Ready for the arm portion. Okay. So just sit comfortably in your chair and you can have your feet flat on the floor or you can be up on your toes. I never know what's going to move me. <laughs> but let's just start with some easy bicep curls. And up and down. Good. Up and down and up and down, up and down. Okay, from here, you're gonna go to the side and forward, to the side and forward, good. To the side and forward, to the side. Pinch that penny in the back of your shoulder blades and pinch it, good, and pinch it, good. Now double time, out, forward, out, forward, out, forward, out, and hold it, come up to the shoulder, 
and down. Come up to the shoulder and down. Come up to the shoulder and down. And to the shoulder and out. Come up and down. And up and down. Good. Up and down. And up and down. Now I have here, twist it, twist. And twist and twist. Good. Keep twisting. Twist and twist and twist and twist and bring it up and all the way down and bring it all the way up and all the way down and up and all the way down one more time up and all the way down good I feel like I could do another 15 minutes of this <laughs> a seated total body chair workout that's what you just did, and you can do it as often as you want to. Now, before you leave, do another couple of stretches with me. Let's bring that right, that left arm over across your chest and put your left hand on your shoulder and just give it a nice, easy tug, okay? Now, in the other direction. Good. You should feel much better. I think that's my doorbell. Perfect timing. <laughs> Remember, I think you are a rock star. And I hope you'll join me again for another Get Fit with Judy. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell that's next to the subscribe button so you're always notified when another video comes out. Mwah. Have a great day.